<laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, that fish is just... That fish is alive. There's a live fish in the drawer. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. I hated it. Always felt as if it wasn't my hand that wrote the letters when using it. through this floor. Okay. What we witness today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, quote, As critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient, as the... In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. 
artist's music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... So, one of them tried to take the spotlight on the other. Have a responsibility. Finish it. She will break you. Is that what it said? Watch out. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veil. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless and artistic... I've seen all these.
Okay. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our... Moths, drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. Hereby resign from service as maiden. House. Mary Smith. All right. Uh, you know, Mary Smith here. Services are no longer required today. House. Don't watch it. stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. the fire in your office just to stop me, don't you? You hate me that much? Don't push me away.
Mince mice, chunky, crunchy, carcasses, starving me out, constantly sick. fire cuz i'm freezing for god's sake what is going on i wish i knew the safe combination All I asked for was an edible meal. At least one that had any taste at all. the means of escape. Flames, finish it. Uh, you feel okay there? Uh. Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. What are you fought for? Let's talk about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. 
Okay. Striking, vibrant, life, 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 fire! Calculations he asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps. For what? Why did you stop? That tool was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I mean, 
I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. You always wanted to have a huge guard. Green calmed your nerves, you said. I always loved painting blood. Mm, I did green last. Red. Is this the right door for you? Possibly. Mass of pulsating fur. Poison to paint. Fire. Final solution.
We can have electricity in the bedroom and in the piano room. Apart from that, if you don't want to be around fire, just don't go near it. I never wanted it to come to that, but here we are. I will protect myself. To a kitchen table. We need new servants. <laughs> but these people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. So that's her becoming your monster. <laughs> Ass up today. I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain my reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I'm done. I'll do it myself. Keeping the house from breaking apart can't be that hard. Understand, I'm working in here. I swear, if I'm interrupted one more time, I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily.
anything that could make her smile. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay, I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna leave things here for now. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, give a like, follow, uh, subscribe. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. And uh, we'll continue on this one another time. All right, take care, everyone.